Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, Karibu Sana, my name is Doris and today I'm sharing with you my September bullet journal setup. Watch, like, comment and maybe subscribe. These are my supplies. I'm trying out ordinary coloring pencils and yeah, my theme of the month is pups. <laughs> if you know Paw Patrol, then uh, you're on the right track. It is my son's birthday month and he absolutely loves Paw Patrol. So this theme is a dedication to him. So for the cover pages, I have a positive quote that I got off from Pinterest. Then I have the September title and a mini calendar and of course adding in the Paw Paw Patrol detail or just paw prints to make it easy for me to draw it. I just wanted it to be an easy theme, something that I can do and also inspire others to do. I changed up the monthly overview. I have here my usual grid. But the boxes, I moved them up from the previous month and the boxes here are 9 by 7 dot spaces. I am using an A4 journal so that's why they are that big. Once that was done, I put in the days of the week. And then I numbered all the days. And for the extra boxes I had at the bottom, I added a pull for every empty box. And I noticed I had uh, 31 days instead of 30, so I corrected that error off camera with some correction fluid and added a pull as well on that area. Finally, the title with tiny pull marks all over the place. And then I went ahead and put in my social media trackers at the bottom which I do nowadays, then to bring in a little bit of color, I decided to shade all the paw prints black and the title and everything just looked so much better. I start off with the title for the page and as you will see this is my habit tracker page. I went ahead and changed up my habit tracker to individual trackers. Uh, maybe this way it wouldn't be as tedious to fill them in. Um, I felt like the one that I used in August was a bit tedious and I couldn't keep up with it so I, I really wanted to try out these uh, individual trackers for the longest time and I finally got my chance and that's what I'm doing and I think they look pretty good. Then finally I went ahead with the theme and added a few paw prints uh, to just bring the whole uh, look together. Next is my mood tracker, which I am really, really excited about. Of course, I started with the title at the top and then went ahead and added tiny paw prints for every single day. And this I'm going to color according to the mood of the day. Again, I made a mistake. I messed up a little bit and added an extra day to have 31 days, but I corrected that way later. Um, and then drew a shield uh, so that all the tracker can, all the tracker points can come to the shield and then finally placed my legend at the bottom this is what uh, these are the color codes I will use to mark my mood
I love having a gratitude log because it always helps me keep into perspective the good that is always happening around me that would otherwise go unnoticed. And like today, I got some really sad news while I was editing this and I don't know if you can hear the sadness across uh, my voice as you listen to this, but even though that sad news has hit me and has saddened me a lot, I remember to always see the silver lining in every cloud. I like to have a meal plan and this has changed a little bit from the previous ones that I usually do have. Of course I have my title at the top and then I've gone ahead and added in my wigs but what has changed is that I've included a little shopping uh, space where I can write down the things that I do not have in my pantry at the moment so I could go ahead and buy them. I have expanded my brain dump and I don't know if this time round once I expand it that's when I have uh, a scarcity of ideas but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway so I'm just going to write my title and border it with tiny paw prints all around and yeah all that space is for all the ideas uh, anything that comes up that I want to write down that is where I dump it. Finally, I'm setting up the first weekly spread for the month of September and it's been fun playing around with the layout the past month, you know, discovering how this journal works and you can always see these spreads on my Instagram and follow me there as well, it would make my day. These sections are 11 by 15 grid spaces or dot spaces um, and I have a section that will be fun just for stuff that I could fill out as the week progresses. I, again going ahead with the theme of the month that is the poor and yeah I do love that it has been so much fun playing around and learning how to use this uh, journal so I uh, that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and drew some inspiration from it if you did please remember to like comment and subscribe and I'll be leaving you with a flip through of their whole setup until next time bisous bye